Hi my Taurus, how are you? Welcome to your November love and career reading. So, I'm going to do a little Celtic cross which is going to be a general of your love life for this month of November, you know, like an overview. Then I'm going to give you a three card spread um, to give you a little insight of your career and one card as a channeling card, you know, to use that energy or, or how to channel, um, how to channel, you know, like, um, or that energy to bring love in your life or to deal with the situation you're dealing with this month of November. So, okay, I've been pretty much shuffling this card. So I'm going to start. This is your present. All right, my Taurus. What is your crossing card? Well, I see someone is just don't care anymore. And probably you are dealing with someone who's a Leo sign. Someone is like... I don't care at this point. This is the present. Oh, crossing card. Crossing card. Your crossing card is your Knight of Wands. Still dealing with fire signs. So you, you're dealing with someone is your same, um, not your same sign, but you're dealing with a Leo. Or you're de dealing with someone who is, uh, could be a Capricorn. Yep. Not only a Leo, but you could be dealing with that. But a Capricorn, yeah, fire sign. Dealing with fire. Or Capricorn, yes. Uh, what is your, let me see. This is your recent past. Your base, or what is the base of everything so let me get this wow what is your uh, future hmm okay what is the most what how you see yourself wow you definitely live in the Capricorn um, your best possible outcome at this point but mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope it's telling me yeah your best possible outcome wow influences two fears and hopes and your final outcome Okay, my Taurus, so let's start. First of all, someone in the past, I'm going to start with the recent past. Someone in the recent past is like feeling like, you know what? I think you were not treating me right. Someone is not feeling treated the right way. There was no balance in the relationship. Someone just was not giving as much as the other person I, I see it I say I say it and I see it this way because this usually means like there is no fairness in the relationship so you were feeling like you or your partner was feeling like there was no there was there was no fairness in this relationship in any way you know what you consider fair it was not fair for you right so all the other person will feel this way in terms to your present that's from that stage you pass another stage when you see the seven of wands the seven of wands in reverse and it says you know i don't care anymore you know it's like someone kind of like promised something but go back in their words that's how you feel okay you know what like someone is not caring anymore someone could make a promise but took the words back right 
and what is crossing this relation, what is crossing you and crossing this relationship is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands says, you know, there is a mess just coming back and forth. Maybe, maybe it's a challenge because I see like maybe there's a challenge in the communication. Maybe this mess when you're coming back and forth. Maybe uh, it's like saying someone, someone lost type of the passion in the relationship. I don't know it's like yeah someone is just someone lost that passion it's like this is messaging back and forth but there's a loss of some passion you know like I feel like like someone is trying to get to know each other but it's kind of difficult right it's like how can we get to know each other if the messaging issue is just it's just a problem here what is the base and the foundation of where everything you know stars you know showing in this month is because of the lover's card someone was trying to decide what is that i want right or what's going on it's like it's about decisions about um wanting is type of love that it's mutual that we we get this consensus of agreement of both investing in a relationship yeah so this is what is what's going on this is a gemini you might be dealing with a gemini my taurus or libra or leo um, I see a lot of air, a lot of mental uh, thoughts at this point with you. Like you are kind of like thinking a lot or your partner is thinking a lot. And because this was, it was wanted as a base, as a base and foundation, then that's when you feel like, you know what? Someone is giving more than other. You're being unfair with me or, or your partner is feeling like this is unfair. Like what you're doing to me. Then you go in at the present coming into November saying, you know what, someone is like, I don't care anymore. Like, if it's fair or not, like, I'm not, I just, I'm done trying to prove a point, trying to, to say like, oh, I'm right. I'm proving my point of this and that. Not anymore in reverse. It's like, I don't, I don't want to prove any point. The communication is not here. You, you you feel or the other person feels like there's no there's no passion going on and he's a challenge to get that passion to challenge i think it's just things moving a little slow right but the most possible most possible outcome is the knight of swords something that it just comes and go very quick so when it comes to to this type of element the knight of swords is nothing promising in reality is something that comes really quick kind of sweep it off your feet but goes nowhere you know like okay someone will come in or you will come in or this person that you're dealing with will come in maybe try to sweep you off your feet and is out just like a light In the near future, that's the most possible outcome. In the future, you have this card, which is a Gemini card, so which is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords shows that you or your partner are not able to see things clearly, that is just so trapped in the mind, not knowing what to do. Just just feeling trapped but it's just in your mind you're feeling chained to maybe this other person maybe to the situation because I see that still you you don't care you still want happy couple thing like you still want to you're still deciding basically you're still deciding right and I see that you still want this may be a combat at the same time it's just not happening like 
this is coming and go this is just come quick and flew you know it just flew away like you're like oh he just came got me all like happy and all you know worked out and and you know like oh I'm, I'm looking so pretty and beautiful and then he's like tomorrow I don't exist so yeah that's the type of energy of the knight of swords you might I want to expect something or someone don't care they just come and go I, I will feel like this is kind of like an let me see I'm just gonna clarify this knight of swords because I'm really thinking <laughs> yes this is what exactly what I was gonna say and I'm so pissed I'm so pissed this is what happens. The Knight of Swords means someone who just comes back and forth. Like someone who goes in and out. That's what it is. So you're going to be dealing with someone who's coming in and out. It's like a cycle. Yeah. You know with this person that it just likes to be. It just plays. Comes back and forth. It's just pissing me off. Just piss. You know, it's pissing me off because I see it. This person just come in and out. Just come. Swipe all your feet. Take whatever it wants and just keep going. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out of here. Right? Give you that message, get you all these illusions, and you're like, oh, it's coming back and then it's gone. And then it comes back and it's gone. It comes back and it's gone. And that's why you feel this way. Or oh, it's you doing this to someone else, and that's why the other person is feeling this way. How do you see yourself? You see yourself or the other person seeing seeing you as someone who is just so so tight in in their feelings like that you don't want to open up your heart you don't want to exteriorize your feelings you don't want to you don't want to do that you just holding on to yourself to your feelings to everything because oh it's you the only one who likes to come in and out this is just the game I, I communicate with you when you need when I need you and then I'm out when I don't need you anymore so I really don't care I don't need to prove any point anymore like it's just it's just a game right okay it might be like you play with me now I don't care anymore now I'm coming in and out like or I take you in and I kick you out of my life how do you uh, what are the external influences you know what this kind of influences is like nobody or nothing it's like kind of like offering this kind of like opportunity of love for you it's like this person is just it's just something about the situation or this person you're dealing with that is just trying to have a future someone who's just seen but is not offering so I think in this external influences what this means I think it means like you are trying to moving away not moving away moving against any obstacles at this point but there is not there is not something solid when it comes to offering love it's just not it's not there because the king of cups the King of Cups uh, really um, wants a serious relationship, and and when it's in reverse, it means like I don't want to be in a relationship. It's someone who can be pretty much manipulative. So when I see this, someone who pretends to be, or you have an external influences of someone just being, you know, oh, I'm gonna, I'm looking for the solution to benefit everyone, you and I, but. I, I see the direction of a future, but I don't want a relationship. It might just be a manipulative energy. It's you or the other person. So that's why that's why you're passing through this. Is someone just don't really want to be in a relationship. It's in and out, in and out. In and out with the moon. When it comes with fears and wishes and, and, and hopes. It comes to star. The star, whatever I see, the star is a good card. And it means, you know, you wish upon the, the stars, right? It's just that it diminished the light of the wishes that you want or you expect. Like, whatever you want, you're wanting is like, okay, I do want to make, make up my mind to something about this relationship. 
but I'm just gonna clarify a little bit more about this start what is this start about so let me see yeah something that will bring peace to you something that you want that is about peace peace more stars and connection and success but your fears are that this will be taken away this little mouse will take this away and nibble in this so that's what your star card is in reverse because you do or your part is looking for something that it's meaningful something that gives you peace connects you with that peace internal peace right but it's just being taken away right that's your fear that will be taken away and what is the outcome is the hangman Things are not moving forward. This relationship, there's no really a relationship. It's just someone who doesn't want to be in a relationship. This is like in and out thing. And you'll stuck there. You just in pause. This in and out. At the end of November, there's nothing's going to move. You're just going to stay there. Like nothing moving forward, nothing being back. Maybe this person just come in, swipe you of your feet and disappear. And you stay there. Like nothing is gonna happen okay so just warning you someone is gonna come someone you're dealing with that likes to be coming in and out doesn't want a relationship doesn't want to be with you and it's just playing or you know it just doesn't care anymore or it's you you already at this point in your career I see you trying to pre prove your points in your career I see you making up decisions about your career and you need to really let go of your past hurts past fears something about your career that you made up your mind already because before you were not able to see i think you are now seeing clearly a lot a lot of things um and i think you need to you already made up your mind about something at your work that you needed to uh use your quick actions like you, you, there were some changes that unexpectedly gonna happen now in November that you're gonna have to make quick decisions you need to make quick decisions use your power in your intuition because you need to let go of past hurts something is going on here and I think you're just trying to find something more meaningful when it comes to your job it's like you know what um, I decided something that you, this something is gonna happen. You're gonna have to make it. You know, you're gonna have to make a major life change, and something's going on when it comes to clarity. That you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna receive a message or clarity about something. And yeah, this is the same card. It's night of uh, maybe this person is from your job. I just totally feel like this person you know him from from where you, wherever you work or around your job or something because it's the same card knight of swords in this one and it's and it's, this is career matter so you're gonna hear something you're gonna see something and it has to be with this card also because this is the message that i'm telling you is like so i think this person has something to do with your work at your job it's gonna you know you're gonna be disappointed and you're gonna have to make like serious major decisions about that okay so now what it's going on with uh how are we gonna channel this is your channel card your channeling card so let's go your channel card my taurus when it comes to your love life how are we gonna channel this release hello my taurus exactly exactly you're feeling trapped you're not being able to let go of things right someone is not being able to let go of things so someone is just not being to able to express and open your heart so what it says the way you're going to deal with this in november is to release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe so whatever you don't want in your life because i see you trying to make up decisions that you want this you want something mutual you want you know you're still deciding and the only thing you're receiving is this in and out energy 
that it's unwanted. You don't want it. Or you're doing this to the other person. You know what? You need to release and let go. Let go. Let that behind. Because it's taking you nowhere. This is the hangman. Nowhere. You stalk in a pause doing nothing. And this energy is not doing anything for you. All right, my Taurus. I hope I help you in any way. Much love. Much light. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Much love. And please, please, please be good. Be good. Be good to yourself and be good with others. I don't know, but I feel like I had to say that. I don't know. Ciao.